In this video, I want to tell you how you can add a VBA code that you found on the internet into your Excel spreadsheet. So for those of you who know me, you know that all the stories that I tell, all the materials that I publish are based on true stories and my inspiration from my daily practices. So recently I suggested to someone to use a user defined function in their financial model to solve a problem. And the person kind of rejected by saying that, oh, I don't know how, what is UDF. I don't know how to use UDF, so I'm not going to do it. And I actually provided the code to him. So I was very surprised and kind of like, mm, I was like, uh, why, you know, I was just like questioning why the person doesn't want to just, you know, why following a couple of steps use the solution that I provided. So in this video, I just want to take you through how you, you can just, you know, when you are trying to automate a task, you can just go and find the code in, uh, on the internet and then copy and paste it into your Excel spreadsheet. And that's what I normally do because I consider myself as a user of VBA and not a developer. So let's say, you know, as an example that you want to add a table of content into your project finance model. And instead of doing it manually, you want to do it automatically by using VBA. So let's go and do it. So the first step is to go to Google and try to find a code that you want. So I'm going to type VBA code to our table of content and I'm going to look for the option. So the one from the Microsoft community, I'm just going to check it out. And I see that I have a code that might do the trick. Okay. So I'm confident. I'm fine with that. Now I'm going to go to my financial model. This is the model that I want to use and add the table of contents into it. So the first thing that you want to do, you want to make sure that you have the developer tab um, in your ribbon. In order to do that, it's very easy. If you don't have it, you just go to file and then under options, you will see that you have this customized ribbon. And here you see that my developer tab is checked. If you don't have it, yours is unchecked. So you just check it and press OK. So now you should have the developer tab in your ribbon. Once you have that, you're going to come under Visual Basic here. You're going to uh, just, you know, click on the Visual Basic and then you should have this window, which is called the Project VBA uh, Project. OK, so if you don't have it, you need to come under Windows, uh, under View, when you are in the VBA Editor. So you see this one, we call it VBA Editor, this window. So you come under View and you just check this Project Explorer and or control R as it says over there. And you have this window and this is like, you know, I mean, I say, I always say that Excel is like our skin and VBA is like the veins and, you know, inside the organs inside our body. So now we are inside our, the body of our spreadsheet. Okay. So this is like the skeleton, you know, of uh, our spreadsheet. So in this, now I have, uh, two worksheet actually open. One is the generic macro from Professor Bodmer. And this is the file that I'm working on that I want to add the table of content that I want to add the code into it. So make sure that you know, you're careful to add the code in the right spreadsheet when you are under this window. So I'm going to expand on that. And under this Microsoft object, I have all the, you know, worksheet that I have are listed here is this is a skeleton of my financial model. So all the Excel sheets are listed. I don't want to, I don't have anything to do with the sheets for now. I want to add a module. Okay. So I'm going to come here on the, the module, right click and insert a new module. Okay. So that's the one that's in that blank window. Now I'm going to go back to my, um, where I found the code. And in this one, it's easy. I'm just going to copy it. And then I'm going to come back to that window and control V to paste it. Okay, so as you can see now, this code is sitting and is inside the body of my Excel spreadsheet. So now I, I can just, you know, that's it. So we are done. So now I can come to my model. For this case, I need to open a new worksheet. And now if I want to run the macro, what I can do is to come to the macros 
and you know if you just have all the you will see all the macros in all the open workbooks but i'm just going to say list all the macros included in this workbook and this one is the one that i just added okay so if i run it you see that it's going to do the job and it's going to create the table of contents for me. So this was just one example. I mean, this is a very simple thing to do. You basically don't need uh, this one. You see it is done. This comes actually under the generic macro by Professor Edward Bodmer, but it was just an example to tell you how easy it is to add a user defined function, to add a module, to add any VBA code into your spreadsheet. You don't need to know any coding. Of course, it's always good to understand understand the code and to know to be able to read it but uh, make sure that you know you do this from time to time to automate your task it's going to make your life easier but one thing before I leave I want to make sure that when you are of course you can go back and edit that module so you see that's the one so what I always do and I just had a recent post about it is to add where you got the code from okay so for example here so you can just put a code you know here and then this way a text is not going to be included in your code and i'm just going to copy and paste the, um, the 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 source where i got it from inside the the code where i am putting it so that anyone else who is reading my model who is reviewing my model knows that i didn't come up with this code i just got it from an online source or from wherever i got it from okay so that's it for today and i hope you uh, learned something if you didn't know this yet and um, i will see you in another video hopefully thank you and bye if you want to learn how to build better financial models check out my online course on financial model spreadsheet design at courses.phoenixmode.com